Hi mamas and welcome to the Mama Makeup Corner. It's literally in my bedroom corner. Maybe one day I will have more space and it'll be like the Mama Makeup Room. That would be really, really cool. <sighs> Today we are going to test a new eyeshadow palette. I did break my no buy for this. And do you have any guesses as to what palette I got? Jurassic Park is my all-time favorite movie. I, I kind of go through these phases of if I'm sick, I will watch the same movie on repeat. And I know that's like a self-soothing thing, but Jurassic Park is one of those films. Tito, you snore like a dinosaur. He's so loud. Dilophosaurus over there. Jurassic Park is just one of those movies that I could watch anytime and all the time, specifically the first one. The second one was eh. The third one was garbage. Jurassic World... The second one was a transition movie, that's the right word, to get to the last one. And supposedly there are rumors of more movies and or TV series. I've also watched all of Camp Cretaceous. It's not my favorite series, but I feel like there's things in there that you need to see in order to understand how some other things happened in the movies. And I also watch Clayton Fiority and a few other dinosaur podcasters. I've told my husband that I really, 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 really want to take a paleontology class and or go on some sort of paleontology tour. Me and my kids play dinosaurs. I have like five dinosaur t-shirts. And now I have a dinosaur eyeshadow palette and not just any palette. This one plays me the theme song. We went to the store and I didn't know it played music. I had no idea this played the theme song. I saw on Trend Mood, they were talking about this new dinosaur palette for Jurassic Park. And I thought, wow, cool, we'll have to see it at Walmart. We went through Walmart, didn't know it played the song. Had no clue. I picked it up and opened it to look at it and it started playing the song and I, I went crazy. My children were kind of fussy so we couldn't stay long and I couldn't look at anything, but I, I, I opened it, heard the song playing and went, I want that palette so bad. So on a different day, I went back and got it because I needed this palette. I am such a huge Jurassic Park fan. They need more movies. Prequels, sequels, triquels, in-betweeners. <laughs> I don't care, I just want more good dinosaur movies. Anyway, I'm, I'm losing track. I just love dinosaurs, okay? I love, love, love dinosaurs. And in case you were wondering, my favorite dinosaur is Baryonyx. Hands down, best dinosaur of all time. I also got this doodad. I don't know why they needed such a big box for this. This is the makeup brushes, there's a mirror and a sponge, but the mirror is like a little handheld one. It's not like, it's not like this with a handle and it's big, it's little. I just don't see why, <coughs> I just don't see why they needed a whole big box for this. It seems like very wasteful. This is everything that comes in this box. We have a sponge, we have the mirror and the brushes. The mirror itself is somewhat flimsy, like it looks flimsy. This might just go on a shelf one day for me. The makeup sponge I am not using today. I've already done all my makeup. And I, I don't like to have more than two sponges open or that I'm using at a time. But this one came with a sponge and it has a little mosquito on it. And it comes in an amber case. That's pretty cool. I like that. I got the Jurassic World one. I'm excited about this one. What I will be using are the brushes, maybe the mirror, but I'm excited about these brushes. The only thing they missed the mark on though was that these brushes should have had a little mosquito on the inside. I mean, if you're gonna commit, you should commit. I do wish Profusion was better with their brushes. This blending brush is so flimsy. Just feeling it like, uh, we should have had something a little bit more quality. Let's dig into this eyeshadow palette. This is so cool, like this is so cool. I have a trick. If you don't want the music to play, just cover the corner. Just cover that little corner on the edge here, that little hole. Just cover it, the music will stop. You're welcome. Basically, I got a tissue and I shoved it in that little hole so that I don't have to have that playing because it's super loud. I would love to do my makeup to the Jurassic Park theme song, but oh, I dug my nail into the shade. Oh, I hate when I do that. 
that's the problem with long nails. I'm just, they feel so natural and I forget that they're there. So I dug my nail. It's not bad. I can save it. We have a lot of shades, a lot of variety in this palette. A lot of things here are named after the movie itself. You've got, hold on to your butts. You didn't say the magic word, clever girl. Uh, Gala, Galamimus. There's tons of shade names in here that are cute. They match the name. They match sayings in the movie. But what I love about this palette, other than the fact that it sings and like they did a smash job with the packaging, I love that the footprints are walking away. That's amazing. I think they did some of the footprints walking away with the other eyeshadow palette that they did for Jurassic World. There are a ton of mattes in this palette. It looks like there are also some sequin shades. There's one, two, three, four satin shades. And it looks like the rest are shimmer metallics. I'm glad there's not a pressed glitter. I'm just, I'm never gonna go through pressed glitters. That's not true. If I use a pressed glitter, I have to use a ton of it because it always sticks to my finger and then I can't get it off. So then I have to go back in for more. And I always use my finger because I don't like when it gets stuck in my makeup brushes. So beside the point, I just don't like pressed glitter. I'm glad that there's not a glitter in this. We're gonna do a look with this palette now. And I'm wondering, maybe I should do a look on this side and a look on this side. I wouldn't be able to use the brushes for each look. I don't know. I'm here to play with makeup. Let's play with makeup. I think I will practice using this little mirror. I mean, it's cool. Let's do it. On my right eye, I'm gonna take the shade We Spared No Expense. Oh, those are powdery. Oh my goodness, those are powdery. Um, there's no pigment in that. Oh, okay. It's lighter. It just looks lighter, maybe a tad bit pink. Definitely a transition shade for me. Even just like a setting shade, really. That's more of a setting shade than a transition shade. I'm going to do a more pink purple look on this side. So we're going to continue down the pinks. And I'm going to take the, the shade Hold On To Your Butts. I'm going to take this in my crease. And because I have mostly hooded eyes, slightly hooded eyes, I don't know what you want to call it, I'm going to go up a little higher than just my crease. I always try to do this just to make my eyes look a little bigger. This shade is also very powdery, but it's blending out really good. That's nice. Next, I am taking this purple shade, you didn't say the magic words, and I'm going to put that in my outer corner. Oh. This is not a brush for an outer corner. Again, it's very powdery. Um, there's zero pigment. Okay, not zero pigment. You can tell it's there, but it's definitely much lighter. Hmm. Instead, I'm gonna take We Are Being Hunted and I'm gonna see if this shimmer will show up better. Uh, kind of. Oh, it's going downhill real fast. Ooh, there's a lot of fallout. Oh my. Let's let's fix the situation. I'm taking a setting spray. I'm going to wet the shade after I pick it up and then put it down. That helps with the fallout, but it's so patchy. Oh, it looks bad. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, okay. Um that part was error on my side. I got way too much moisture on my brush and then I laid it down so now it's gonna be like a harsh line. Okay, that definitely helped with the pigment problem though, that's for sure. And I'm going to bring it up past my crease and then take that other shade, hold on to your butts, to blend it out. I have slightly hooded eyes, so if I bring up that pigment a little bit higher, it kind of brings up my eye instead of it hanging down on my lid. Doesn't look awful. Crisis averted. I am now going in with the shade Tyrannosaurus Rex. As cute as these footprint pans are, they're very hard to get into. And this brush is way too tiny. I need something else. Yeah, it's so messy trying to get into these pans with this big of a brush, but I need this big of a brush to get on my eyelid. Mistakes were made. The pans needed to be a tiny bit bigger, maybe do less shades. That way they could have had 
better pans. Oh, there's no pigment. I'm, I'm losing faith, I'm losing faith. Let's just go in with a different shade. Let's go in with a different shade. We're gonna do the shade Bingo Dino DNA. I'm gonna take it up above my crease just a little bit. It looks a little better. I'm gonna blend that out. Like it doesn't look awful, but me in the mirror, I'm going, wow, that's patchy. Wow, there's no pigment. I can't get my finger in the pan very well. Okay, after, <laughs> it's so patchy, it's bad, it's bad. And there's so much fallout. <gasps> what is happening? This might end up being a shelf piece for me for sure. Under my eye, I'm just gonna take that shade, hold on to your butts underneath my, on my bottom lid, that's what I'm trying to say. Just pinch the brush and pull it under and then really fan it out. Meet up over here on the corner. I don't like using this mirror for this. This is something, this is something that I would probably just take to work and use as a cute little, not compact, but a little mirror because it's just, I'm like, I can't see anything. I give up. There we go. Wow, I can see everything again. This right side to you left, me to right. This just feels like a bust to me. <laughs> Let's do the other side in a different color. This side, I want to do something a little bit more dramatic and fun. I'm taking the shade Paleo Botanist on a big fluffy brush. Again, those shades are super powdery but then i'm going to use a little bit more on this inner portion because next i'm going to take a blue for my outer area why not we're going to do the bright blue security clearance i'm going to put that meet it up with that thicker area of green and just lay this flat all over that area once it's flat i'm going to blend it out just a little bit <sighs> I get that I'm blending it, but as soon as I put it down, all that this is not the same color that's in that pan. Let's try to build it up. I'm gonna create this edge and I'm gonna bring it down, skipping the lid, go halfway under my eye. I just wish it was the bright blue and I know that blues are hard, but honey, Okay, moving on. I don't really have like a really, really, really dark blue in this palette. So I'm gonna take the shade Gallimimus and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. Oh my, oh my. Where's the punch? Where is the color? Where is anything? I'm gonna mix it with that royal blue shade too and see if I can get the blue that I want. That's closer. And then I'm just gonna try to blend that out. Guys, I'm not bad at makeup, I swear. It's this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to add a black gel liner all over the lid and try to make that as a base. I'm not exactly doing a cut crease. I'm just putting down a base for the metallic shade that I want. I love doing this with gel pencils. They make such good base shadows, especially when you're doing something dramatic like this. Now I'm going in with the shade Electrified Fence. I'm going to try to do a cut crease <laughs> or the semblance of one. I'm gonna use a brush first, but, ooh. Maybe I'll just use my finger. <laughs> That's better. We're getting there. I'm gonna take the Paleo Botanist shade again, the one that I have the green in my crease. I'm gonna get that wet, and then I'm gonna do the rest of my under eye. That blue up here didn't have any fallout, but it's probably because I had a really good base for it. I'm gonna meet that in the inner corner and pull it all the way down. The very last shade on the top row is called Welcome to Jurassic Park. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. 
Ooh, oh, she pretty. Oh, we're gonna go all the way on the bottom lid with that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner. I may or may not put on a lash and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. But I'm pretty sure you already know them. Okay, mamas, final thoughts. The makeup brushes are eh, they're nothing amazing. The mirror is way too small. That's something I would more or less take to work or in my purse to touch up. I haven't used a sponge, but I'm sure it's just a sponge. It's nice that it came with a case. I don't really use sponge cases, but if I ever want to put it on display, at least have a case, it won't collect dust. But let's talk about this palette, this mother trucking palette. I've never been so sad hearing this song before. Here's the deal. I want to love this. I want to love this so much. Oh, my bangs are haywire. I want to love this because it's Jurassic Park. Perfusion has had decent palettes. I have some in my collection that I like. This is going to be a display piece for me. I feel sad that I even touched any of the shades because they're not pristine. I could have kept this as a nice clean collector's edition if I knew how bad it was going to suck. I used a total of 11 shades out of this 30 shade palette. That's a third of the palette. And I get that blues and purples are not easy to work with. A lot of brands get it wrong. This is a time that they got it wrong. Blues and purples come out super patchy. This one would not blend down here. Even after I cut the video off, I kept trying to blend it out. It won't blend out. And I know that it's not my face makeup causing that because it wouldn't blend over here with this shade. It was hard to blend this purple out over here. And then I had to top it with a metallic purple instead. One other thing I wanna gripe about, the pan size, the little circles are fine. I can get a fingertip in there, my pinky at the very least. But the print, the footprint, the T-Rex footprint that I loved so much is too tiny to get a brush into to get a good clean swipe. Not to mention the metallics are more like foils and foils are just so hard to get on. I did have to go in with some setting spray, which is neither here nor there for me. But I think for the pan shades, they could have done less shades, made the walking pans bigger, and then we would have all been able to use the shades better. Will I use this again? I don't know, I don't know. It will be going in my eyeshadow palette list, so if it gets rolled into a project pan, I'll be using it. But I've had such a bad experience, I won't be reaching for this in the near future. For the 30th anniversary, this is cute, I am keeping this. I have lots of Jurassic Park memorabilia, I still love the movies. That's not going to change just because of one crappy eyeshadow palette. Which is a shame because their Jurassic World palette was so good! It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. I'm glad I bought it. This was a collector's piece for me. But if y'all do not collect Jurassic Park memorabilia, don't buy this. You don't need it. Don't do it. The makeup brushes, you don't need those either. I wanted them because they're amber and they're very cute, but they're just kind of meh, nothing amazing about them. Sorry for such a negative video, but it is what it is, you know? And as much as I love Jurassic Park, I have to be honest. <laughs> All right, mamas, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more reviews, leave me a comment. I don't really do a ton of reviews because I'm not sure if that's what people need or want to see anymore. I mean, yeah, we all wanna know if products are great and if we can save our money or not, but it's just not something that I film a lot of. You can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, mamas, have a good one. Bye, mamas.